All right. Uh, some other news, though, coming out uh, from just kind of the end of training camp and into the preseason. Got some interesting headlines here. Nothing like super earth shattering, mm-hmm. uh, but there was a trade. You want to talk about that? Yeah. So the Vikings kind of cut ties. Um, which there's some encouraging points to talk about with this, but Andrew Booth, cornerback Andrew Booth, uh, who was the second round pick in the 2022 draft for the Vikings, uh, which was Quasi's first draft. Uh, they traded him away. They traded him to the Cowboys for another young cornerback. Um, and I really hope I don't butcher his name, um, but I, it looks like his name is Nashawn Wright. I think that's really um, accurate. Who I think is just one season older than Andrew Booth. I don't know of actual age, how how old he is, but I think he's been in the NFL one season longer than Andrew Booth. And um, honestly, it kind of seems like a, you know, like a same for same swap. Uh, who knows? Maybe Andrew Booth figures it out and he kind of turns around in Dallas and same thing for Nishan Wright. Um, neither have really done a whole lot in their NFL careers. Um, but neither have been like terrible or horrible or cost way too much or anything crazy. So uh, I think they're just, I think Wright was a third round pick. Uh, so somewhat high and Booth, he obviously was a second round pick. So a pretty high pick. So some high expectations for some young guys that didn't really meet those expectations in their first team. So let's, I mean, let's hear it for Nishan Wright. He's a Viking. He's one of the good guys and we're fans of him. So yeah, who knows? Maybe a change of scenery for both of those guys. Could be a a really good thing. So, and I mean, everybody knows the Vikings need help in the defensive secondary. Yeah. So (laughs) between injury and tragedy and just you know not a lot of names in that group, it's uh, pretty thin. Maybe their thinnest of groups on the whole team right now. Yes. So to add another guy who can maybe maybe he's walking in Nashawn Wright that is coming in with a positive mindset and like hey let's see if i can make a difference here let's see if i can make the 53 man let's see if Mm -hmm. i can maybe be a possible starter i mean that'd be that'd be pretty cool yeah and i don't know too much about the cowboys defensive backfield right now but i know nishan Wright. i mean he's kind of walking in clean slate he's got a chance to make the team but neither booth or Wright are shoe-ins to make either the cowboys or the vikings so uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is the kick in the rear that the guy needs for either of them to get traded. Um, and I will say, too, for Quasey, uh, it's probably a little bit of a tough pill to swallow to admit, like, yeah, this, uh, this for whatever reason, didn't work out. Maybe the guy just wasn't who you thought he was. Maybe there was some injuries that we weren't too sure about. But either way, Quasey recognized, like, yep, this second-round pick, my first second-round pick in my entire career, just didn't turn out and we got to cut bait and move on. And there's, there's some, some good qualities in being able to admit that. So good for Quasi. Just at first glance, I just looked both of them up quick on uh, pro football reference. You're right. Nashawn Wright has one more season on Andrew Booth. Mm -hmm. And I think he's got a handful more of games started. Andrew Booth has only started two games in his Vikings career. Yeah. One in 22 and one in 23. Uh, Andrew Booth has zero interceptions, um, and so just basically the only stat line he has is tackles. Yeah, um, and he's got 19 tackles, and those could starts. be special teams tackles as yeah, well. So very, very well could be, and that's I think kind of what we're getting with Nishan Wright too. He's exactly. got one more year of experience, a handful more games started. He does have one interception on his career, um, so a little bit different of a stat line could be just due to one more year in the league yeah but who knows maybe that experience turns out to be a factor for him i did see some the the running joke on twitter immediately was that um current cowboys defensive coordinator and former vikings head coach mike zimmer Zimmer, it would be just the perfect vikings thing to happen for mike zimmer (laughs) to turn andrew booth into like a quality nfl player and then you know that, but, that would be such a Vikings yep, thing. You to can't do. control that now, so <laughs> it's just a joke that we just have to wait for the punchline, I guess. But uh, <laughs> that that was a funny thing to realize. Like, oh yeah, Mike Zimmer, he's going to be getting Andrew Booth. Yeah. So another big headline that could be kind of developing as we speak, mm-hmm. Monday night, August twelfth, is uh, it was reported that Stefan Gilmore, yeah, also of the Cowboys, Cowboys, uh, Patriots, I think yeah. the Panthers for a minute. 
uh, was visiting with the Vikings today. Mm-hmm. Um, the the Vikings are currently in night practice right now. I think. Yeah, I think that's wrapping up. Probably. But yeah, yeah. Eight, tonight was yeah. eight nine o'clock mm-hmm. Central Time. Uh, but yeah, so doubtful that he was maybe present for that um, watching or anything like that. But at some point today, he met with some Vikings personnel and had some conversations about possibly making his way to Minnesota. Mm-hmm. That would also be a, a pretty interesting acquisition for the Vikings in that defensive secondary unit. Oh, yeah. And he's one that would be a much bigger name and probably a, an immediate contributor. I mean, you'd immediately pencil him in as a starter, probably, unless he just couldn't figure out the defense. Right. Um, and I, I said it to Dustin Baker last week that, I mean, the cornerback room is in trouble and that's a pretty staple position for any defense and yeah once the injury started happening um, and the room looked a little thin they made a couple of moves um they who did they bring in uh, fabian moreau and mm-hmm. a couple other guys um but like you'd, you'd never heard of these guys before like at least i hadn't and i followed the league pretty closely um so i was pretty frustrated the vikings they hadn't at least completed like a move for a guy that we've heard of before like whether it's you trade more than you have to to get somebody who's good or you sign a stefan gilmore um they just hadn't done anything and that was frustrating me um but no signing yet i mean uh, koc even talked to the media and somebody asked him about it and he said yeah we had a good good meet with stefan and stefan stefan i'm i'm saying it wrong i'm sorry um we had a good meeting with him but i mean there's no no contract as of yet that was the most up to date is that they had a good meeting so i well, don't know he he definitely comes with some pedigree he's a five-time pro bowler um all pro a couple of times and defensive player of the year in 2019 led the league in interceptions and passes defended in 2019 so i mean and that's not that long ago Mm -hmm. i mean that's several years ago now but it's still recent enough and yeah he's aging he's getting a little older um but i don't know yeah quarterbacks don't get banged up a ton unless they're like tackling machines and are just ruthless like (laughs) kamikaze pilots going after people exactly uh i was listening to uh, uh, the power trip morning show this morning on kfan and they had ron johnson on former uh gopher former i think he played for the ravens um but he's on kfan all the time uh, but he was saying yeah gilmore he's also not been in camp he's kind of he's been working out but he's not been getting banged up all summer so he's he's kind of fresh so we'll see uh i wouldn't i'd be uh, i'd be upset if the vikings didn't make another move at cornerback which cut down days come in Maybe they'll pick up a guy from another team that gets cut. Maybe they will sign Gilmore. Um, I'd be upset if they didn't do anything, but I also wouldn't be overly upset if it wasn't Gilmore, like if they went with somebody else. So we'll see. Yeah, we definitely will see. And both of those things seem to be kind of good moves. Uh, Nashawn Wright hopefully turns out to be good. And if we can get Stefan Gilmore, it would be a really good move too for the Vikings, at least a step in the right direction to fix a, a pretty weak and depleted cornerback room specifically. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, good stuff, Chad. And, um, I mean, next week we're going to have more to talk about with preseason game number two. Yeah. You could argue uh, best episode yet? I'd say so. It's cool. It's cool. Hey Vikings fans, Evan here from the Skull Hop and we just wanted to say thank you again so much for listening to the Skull Hop and we also wanted to take one more opportunity to let you know that this episode of the Skull Hop has been brought to you by Big Top Ventures. If you're considering taking an all-inclusive trip to either Mexico or Jamaica, reach out to our friends at Big Top Ventures at bigtopventuresllc at gmail.com. Once again, that's Big Top Ventures LLC at gmail.com. You can get the lowest rate possible on several all inclusive resorts throughout the region. Big Top Ventures, step right up to your next big adventure. And thanks again for listening to the Skull Hop. Skull.